Vision of the Big Hit, Part 2. So today I decided that I would play off the Blue Tees, which I've never played before in Temper. And this might be the worst decision because it's been raining non-stop and you can't even see. Look how cloudy it is, like compared to what it normally is here. So I feel like it's going to play really long today. But I feel like a lot of people come in and play off the blues. So let's see how I do. I think it'll be interesting. Today we're starting on the 10T, it's a par 4, 370 yards. Temple uses yards, right? Oh yeah. Okay, 370 yards. So I think the strategy is pretty much the same as the white tee, except that the angle that we're hitting at is different. But I honestly think the blue tee is actually better. See, pretty much the same distance, that's the white. This is the blue. It's just that the angle here is actually more open, whereas the white kind of aims towards the left side. So I think this tee box is actually better. So I just saw that tee shot and I just realized that I was aiming a little bit right because I thought I was going for that center white building and I pushed it, but actually I was aiming where I hit. Which is good news because at least I'm aiming, I mean hitting where I'm aiming. But just going to watch my aiming a little bit this morning. Alright, the bad news is on the right side here, the tree kind of comes out. But I'm hitting a short club. It's 139, so it should be fine. I'm thinking maybe it's going to be 8 or 7, but I'm thinking just 8 because... You don't really want to be over on this green. So let's just go 8 iron. And I'm going to go directly at the pin because the pin is a little bit on the right side of the green. So if I hit to the pin and hit a little bit of a draw, it's going to be fine. And as you can see, look, my ball landed here. So we're not getting much run today. Hit that directly at it. Yeah. Looks good. I think we got a putt for Birdie. Definitely really glad I took an 8 and not a 7 because it was a perfect club. It's just like sometimes when it's morning, I have a tendency to want to take more club. And I don't feel like that benefits me that much because, I mean, sometimes you just got to trust your distance, you know? But, you know, sometimes it's early morning. You're not like 100% warmed up and then it's wet, so you want to take more club and then you end up being over. So yeah, good to trust your distance and get a good club on the first hole. Let's see if we can make this putt. Okay, so I didn't get a chance to go putt on the practice screen, but I'm a little bit downhill. So I'm thinking it's going to be a decent speed. I think a little bit left to right. The greens here are a bit tricky, so you have to pay like extra attention. I don't think it's going to break that much. Yeah, I think just got to trust it. Maybe inside left. Oh. Okay, guys, like I think that didn't break at all. Yeah, I thought it was left to right. 
All right, let's see how much we've got. It's a little bit down here, but I don't think it'll play that much down here. 182 yards. Mm, that little Templar logo. Oops, slight pull. Sit. Stop. <laughs> All right, my ball's just off the green. Pretty sure I'm just gonna putt. I haven't chipped yet today, so. So just play it smart. Higher percentage shot. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Did you see that part in front of the green, in front of the hole, right here? How it's like darker? That usually means it's into the green, which means it's going to be slower. So, especially because I'm off the green, I think I'm going to have to putt this quite a bit. I like to pick a point where I want the ball to break. That's kind of where I putt too. Didn't break. Got market. Sorry. Thank you. This is a difficult one. I don't know if I can carry that tree on the right. But as you can see, it's watered on the left side. 180 is that small tree. I think I'm just going to try. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Some wood driver. I'm just going to try go across this tree, see if I can make it. I mean, I guess. So I don't know how far it is to carry it. So I'm just going to try and hit a good shot. If it carries it, good. If it doesn't, well. Okay. I was afraid I can't carry the tree. So. You went straight? Yeah. yeah. But I went over this little. Yeah, I just went over the yeah. Top tree. This hole is one of those weird holes where because I can't shoot how much it is to carry the trees. If I could shoot it, I know for sure. But really, you just have to trust it. You choose an aim and hit. Like I said, if I hit a good shot and if it still gets a bad result, what can you do about it? Okay, so this is just a layup shot. So. I'm just going to hit towards the right side of this fairway because as you can tell, really nothing much up there. There's just a water over there, which I just have to hit short of. So I'm hitting a hybrid. I think it's still a pretty long way. I go ahead, Joe. I'm looking at those bush trees right there on the right side. We've got one fourteen. Bully? Okay, bully. I'm going with a pitching wedge because it's kind of in a rough. So I think it's going to be a bit of a. Uh, it might fly a little bit. 
this kind of cow grass, so I do need to hit it. See the amount of day that it came out. <laughs> okay, my aim is just gonna be like two yards right of the pin. Ah, uh, maybe a little bit more puri. Stay. Stop. Stop. Maju ke? You say not so fast. You won't die a lot more than I thought it was going to. But I'm still on the green. It's going to be quite a big. Get there! Oh. <laughs> Just a tad bit short, but it's okay. We'll take it. The far side of that bumper is 185. You mean the far one or the near one? The far edge of the first bunker. Oh, okay. So the back edge. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Whoa. Thanks. So this hole is actually a little bit different from the blue and the white. Because from the white, I can just cut across that hill. Whereas from the blue, I kind of need to aim towards the right side. Just to make sure I'm on the fairway. Because obviously it's not that long of a hole, so fairway is the main goal. Okay, yeah, I got 161 in the back. Oh, half six. So it's really wet. And the pins in front, so it's almost I have to carry it all the way there. So half six. Just commit to half shot. A little bit right. I think I was aiming there too. Ah, roll into the bunker. <laughs> I think I pushed it, then hit it solid, so now it's in the bunker. Oh, bummer. <laughs> That's definitely one of the things that I need to get better at, which is like committing to my half shots when I'm in between distance. Um, I think I also tend to aim a little bit right because I feel like it's going to draw with a half shot that actually just goes straight. So I hit it straight, a little bit right, so because I didn't catch it full, it's a bit short and it rolled into the bunker. But let's see if we can go make an up and down from the bunker. <laughs> that shot's done, we can only focus on the next one, see what we can do. So let's go. This green is actually so much more elevated, so I definitely could have just hit a full six iron and make sure that it's at least on the green versus not in the bunker. But okay. Green back. I'm just gonna place it. It's just too wet. I mean I could drop it but it's just gonna I mean technically I think this whole bunker is just a waterlogged right now. So 
We're playing a casual game. It's alright. I am expecting a bit of a spinning shot because it's so wet. Watch out, yeah! Something in. Oh, yeah, too much. It's too wet. It's clean, full of water. Okay, the whole green looks like it's into the green. But it is pretty quick, I'm just gonna expect it to spin quite a bit. Be a bit aggressive. Oh. Good try. I think I'm gonna aim just left of that right tree. Look at the flag. The T box is sloping downwards. Also very fluffy. Yeah, maybe a little bit left of that. I've got 162 yards. Joey just called me a monster. Thanks. <laughs> 162, very wet. This hole tends to play a little bit uphill. So I think I'm just going to trust the 5 iron. Because if I did the 6, it might not get up there. Again, you know, elevated greens. Elevated greens, so I think it's better to play more. I'm not gonna do, you know, just, I mean, worst to worst, I think it's still gonna be on the green. Pin is a little bit right center, so I'm just gonna aim a tad bit right of the pin. Yeah, full shot. Alright, Jen. Got my target that. Sticky tree. Not the best contact. Sit. Oh, wow. I thought if anything it was gonna be short. It's like almost over. You're right, I'm a monster. <laughs> Alright, this green is so deceiving. I thought I was over I'm pin high. <laughs> Just can't see the front of the green from the ferry. Got to break it cut, so let's see if we can make this one. Seeing one ball right. It's funny because if anybody tells me like one ball right, I actually don't know what one ball is. <laughs> so what I normally do is I actually like to pick a target, to pick a point. So instead of like saying one ball, I say, okay, like this point. It's over here, it's where I want to hit it. Oh, 
out. I just can't read it. <laughs> Joe, from that angle, do you see right to left? Like this way? This way, right? I don't get it. Why do I keep getting break here? Ah, oh, no break. There's no break. <laughs> It's like straight. <laughs> this is a power five. Just my hand on the right side of ferry. Wow, this tea box is a big heel. A good spot. Oh, oops, it's a little bit right. I've been the wrong. Okay, I missed this right and it didn't roll down. Please tell me how this does not roll down. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to play it safe here because we can't go anywhere left. And I mean, this shot is just gonna go left, right? So I'm hoping I can carry that tree. It is 115, which is short, but. I need to get it high enough. This is literally like 45 degrees. Hmm. Okay, enam dengan tu join. Tak boleh lah. Besar dengan slope dia. See what I can get through this. You know, six and seven is not that big of a difference. I might as well just hit seven. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit seven. I'm hundred percent sure. Oh, it's floaty. I'm picking out all the grass. Okay, I'm just gonna go at the tree. Just try to make good contact with it. I mean, I won't complain about that. <laughs> okay, so obviously I had to hit a 7 iron there, so couldn't get much distance. But I'm on the fairway, it's a good thing, except that I can't see the hole. <laughs> I'm thinking... Five foot? <laughs> I can't shoot it! Okay. This shot, can see, huh? can see. Uh, okay, it's fine. Um, this is downhill, so I'm not gonna try and draw it. It's gonna naturally draw. I'm gonna aim towards the right side. From here, it literally looks like I'm aiming at a tree, so we just gotta trust it. Let's try and hit a good shot here again. Can't control the result. I'll need a shot. Oh my god, it didn't draw at all. Oh, it went straight. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Can't see anything. Okay, so as I said, it's just a difficult hole. 
I really thought that was going to draw and I definitely do not want to try and draw it on that lie because trying to draw it on that lie for a natural draw player is going to lead to a hook and hook is OB. So I think I'm out there. It's playable. Let's see if we can still go do something. Okay, good news is we found my ball. It's 53 yards. I'm obviously on a huge down slope. My ball's sitting a little bit in on cow grass, so I'm gonna have to hit this pretty hard. Um, I feel like this slope is gonna make it go right, but we need to be right of this pin. So I'm just gonna go straight at it. And whatever the slope does, the slope does. 53 yards, that's what I'm thinking about right now. Oh, it came out too hot. Sit. Yeah, I just can't predict what's going to happen to that rough. Okay, so this part, I feel like I'm going to have to take less break. Because that side's higher. So technically, the slope should be sloping like this way. But obviously, when I see it from here, it's a bit left to right. Get in. Oh my god. It's not falling. 